this is Umite and Joe back with another art video. Sorry for being late, I just wasn't, I was a little down Monday and Tuesday. I really was not, not that productive. Um, I was not that productive this week. Um, the game stuff will return tomorrow, I got that up. I was like, I am not gonna get this up and on time, especially with this internet being crap. For some reason, the ethernet is not working and so it is what it is on that. I might go ahead and put in for a work order. But anyway, other than that, I am quite happy with this week's art bunch, especially with the last one that you will see. Um, I would say one of the hearts, the hardest styles to learn for me would be the bleach style. If I'm talking like between bleach, one piece and um, Naruto, the big three of the early 2000s in terms of anime and whatnot in the West. Um, then again, I haven't done much One Piece. I think I'm only drawing one, only doing one One Piece character. I'm not really interested in One Piece artistically, which is why I haven't done much of it and whatnot. Um, but Bleach wise, for Bleach, um, I'm very happy how it turned out. It took a long time, it took me almost two hours to do, but sometimes you have to just slow down and take your time. Um, I say the hardest thing about my particular art style of how I do things is, you know, I do do layers. I just don't do it through a computer. People think that just because you're not doing it with a tablet or with a, with a Photoshop program that you're not doing layers. Um, as you can see, you know, I start off with, you know, just a lighter, um, you know, lighter pencil. Um, the benefits of that is it's very easy to erase mistakes, correct things or whatnot. And then I go over with the darker pencil, which can be said to be the second layer. And then the third layer for me would be the shading. Or sometimes it's the other way around. I do the shading next, and then I go in with the darker pencil. And the hardest thing about the lighter shade is that it sometimes doesn't look nowhere near to what the final product is going to be. You see all it's not tight and all this other stuff. And sometimes you just got to keep pushing through. And then when you start adding in the shading and uh, darkening the lines, committing the lines, that's when it pops out. So I'd probably say the easier um, art style for me would probably be Pokemon. Um, the first two Pokemon I drawn were, no, yeah, Voltorb and Electro were horrible. But that had, I think that has less to do with not being used to the Pokemon art style so much as circles are just difficult. They are they're simple, but they are they're simple, but they are deceptive. So that's why I went ahead and bought a compass, and I went ahead and also got a um, ruler because straight lines as well, geometric shapes can be deceptive. This you know their simplicity and can reveal a lot of errors and whatnot. They can leave you know and whatnot. So that is what that is. I decided. Um, I'm gonna push back the Goku drawing because I still gotta do the Pokemon drawing. That's still do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna finish the. Um, I'm going to finish the Dynasty Gate. I'm gonna do Anubis uh, from Ronin Warriors for both of these. So that should be it for the uh, Ronin Warriors paintings. Unless it's just something that's just blazing in my brain. Then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the Pokemon. Either I'm gonna go ahead and work on the Pokemon one, and then I'm gonna do the Independent the. You know the one that's caught my head as opposed to me doing pre-existing characters and then i'm going to go do the, do the goku i had not touched the painting stuff in a while it's probably since i went out on my first i want to call it vacation it wasn't memorial week it was late may or something like that i haven't touched the painting painting in a while um painting stuff in a while another change that i'm going to do that's going to directly affect the drawings is i want to start doing um live action characters and whatnot I think the reason why I'm so apprehensive about doing live action characters is because obviously live action means, um, you know, human faces and whatnot, real people faces. And I know certain celebrities and actors can be very, something can, can be very protective about their image. So I am going to, um, I think my first subject, I wanted to do it this week, but I put so much effort into the eyes and thing, um, the final drawing that you will see that. I was just like, I'm not gonna be able to put up my best effort. So starting next week, I'm gonna start incorporating live action characters. I decided the first one I'm going to try, you know, cause the benefit of the course is I wanna, I wanna be able to start practicing, um, get more practice in the human faces. That's, a, that's one reason why I wanna do the live action, you know, live action characters, live human subjects. So I can start getting that practice in. 
not that I'm saying I'm perfect when it comes to characters and whatnot, but I want to start putting, you know, adding in more stuff into it and whatnot. Um, it's going to be um, Billy Craston from um, Power Rangers, the Blue Ranger. I'm, I was looking for a reference where he has the suit on minus the helmet, and I found a reference. So I found a reference. So, and as you can see, we are looking at our eyes and drawing. As you can see, when it initially starts, you're like, I don't know if this is going to work. But you know, you take it slow. You do it piecemeal. You work here, there, and put it all together, and it was it, it's fine. Um, I do take breaks in this. I get I, I got phone calls or whatnot from relatives and whatnot. But that's usually because I'm usually done by like Wednesday morning with the drawing, so I did start late. So that's on me. So um, another reason why I'm so late is in posting this is I had like I said I had to go. You know, my parents helped me out with some food money, so you know it is what it is with that. You know, I'm very fortunate to have parents that have the finances to be able to help me out and whatnot so um i got food i got food so and then i was able to negotiate a good um deal with a restaurant on their drink subscription so i can go get i can't get it now they're not 24 7 but i got you know free drinks and whatnot and non-alcoholic you know you know i'm more of a juice and um coffee type of guy so i'll get some in the morning and whatnot Especially since I there's I after this there's nothing due. I do have a schedule. I have a, a video schedule for each day that I can work on. It's something I do now just so that I don't forget video ideas. But you know, do things that you feel strong about doing in that moment. In my opinion, and that will help increase the quality and the efforts and whatnot. Because so I'm trying to get with my Monday, just with my non-art and um gaming stuff i'm trying to get documentary quality with that stuff so i need i'm trying to put in more and more um work into that type of stuff so i want to take my i want to take my time and do it i think what really came together for me was when i started doing the shading now i had an easier reference for this form that i could have did but sometimes you have to challenge yourself all right, there are drawings that I can look back now. And I was like, this is like, this is was this was like my self-imposed art exam, All right? This was my self-imposed art exam. Like for example, the Catwoman one for me was like one of my first art exams in terms of like, you know, if you take your time and whatnot, you know, what can you accomplish? So I'm happy how it turned out. I am very happy. Especially since this is like the final um, form of Eisen that I'm drawing and I'm, you know, and whatnot. And I had so much difficulty with uh, with one of his forms. Which one was it that I was constantly fighting? I don't know. Anyway, so this is Umitencho. I want everybody to have a great and wonderful week. I will see you tomorrow with my first part one of Planets um, Under Attack. Please forgive my first video for having terrible audio. It's always a fight when it comes to video games about getting a good mix of game 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 sounds in my voice. So hopefully by part two, I'll have that perfect mix in. So always a work in progress. So everybody have a great week. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, please share my video game, my my videos in general and whatnot. So see ya.